Hey, good morning and welcome to this Photoshop lesson all about cropping an image. Um, it's quite a simple, fast lesson. I'm just going to show you how to use the rule of thirds in your composition techniques. If you're taking a photograph and you want to make it slightly more visually pleasing. Okay, so here's a photograph taken down the beach. There's a wave crashing in the sky. Now I'm going to be using the crop tool, which is the fifth tool down on this sidebar. I click on it. And as soon as I click on it, I move my mouse up to the corner where the little shape is and you'll see it changes to this icon i will then click it and you can see there's my rule of thirds grid to make my picture slightly more visually pleasing i'm going to crop it down so the horizon is right on the line and this edge of the the walkway here a little pier i'm going to drag and make that perfectly in line as well so you see my focal points are now with the waves as a third and the sky as a third. Now to demonstrate this for your slideshow, what I'd like you to do is before you press anything, press the print screen key on the keyboard and then you can go to your slideshow in your drive. I'm just going to make a new one just to show you what I'm talking about. So I click new slides. And then I'm going to press control V and there is my rule of thirds grid. Now I could use the crop tool here again and I could just crop that down. So I've got the image that I need. Press enter, and there is my picture demonstrating the rule of thirds. So I could title it Rule of Thirds. I could write which bits line where the sky is a third of the photo. The C is also and the pier is let's do some grammar. The sky is a third of the photo. The C is a third and also Okay, so I'd like you to have a go at doing that with some of your photographs. Crop them up, take a screenshot, and you can then see the grid lines. So we can even draw some arrows on our slideshow to demonstrate that there's an arrow there. We could add an arrow over here. We could add another arrow here. So we can show you what we're talking about. Now with these lines, we can obviously make them a bit bolder. I'd like to prefer them red. And I reckon a three-point line is quite easy to see. So we're clicking on the line, changing the color, and the one next to it to make it a bit bolder. There we go. And this is an example. I don't need that is, do we? The sky is a third of the photo, the sea is a third, and also the pier. Okay. There you go. Have fun doing that to some of your photographs you've taken. And thank you very much for watching this quick Photoshop lesson on the rule of thirds. Thank you. Goodbye.